Over the years for Master Chief Collection, people have requested Halo 5 to be added in there as well, though it's not just a simple copy pasta job. And in this video, we're going to go into why Halo 5 has not been added to the Master Chief Collection, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. One of the longest requested things I've seen in my comment sections when it comes to just any kind of MCC video is Halo 5 should come to the Master Chief Collection. And yes, it would be a fantastic addition as well, but logistically, it's a nightmare. So in this video, we're going to go into why Halo 5 will not be coming to the Master Chief Collection. So if you guys like these kind of analytical videos and want to update with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, Make sure you tap subscribe on the channel here, guys. So let's get right into the content. So adding Halo 5 to the Master Chief Collection would be a mess to say the least. One thing you have to take in consideration is the rec system, how the unlock progression system worked in Halo 5. It's something unlike anything we've seen in Halo previously. Now they 343 could go about working their way to make it happen, but the thing is that there are so many rec unlocks that are in this game that if you wanted to have like a Halo 5 season to say for like 100 tiers, you would have to unlock so many different things that it would absolutely just flood the season pass. You would have to actually probably divide it up into multiple season passes for all the possible unlocks you could have. Just for Halo 5 unlocks alone, we have three announcer packs, 229 armor pieces, 238 helmets, 63 visors, 302 emblems, 27 stances, 30 assassination animations, 134 weapon skins, 123 loadout weapons, 14 armor mods, 96 power weapons, 72 vehicles, 12 power-ups, and when you combine those all together, that's 1,343 total unlocks. Now there are some redundancies when it comes to armor patterns obviously being duplicated. We also have some weapon variants as well, which actually would be a pretty fun addition with MCC. But you can see that you'd have to have like a dedicated Halo 5 season with like a thousand tiers at least just to make it something that you can unlock through. Now when you hear that problem, you're probably like, okay, we'll just have everything unlocked from the get-go. But then the thing is that it kind of ruins the fun of gaming because the whole reason why shooters have like unlocked systems is to increase engagement to get people playing the game more. Why do you think in Call of Duty you have to unlock all your attachments because it just increases engagement with the game? And it's also just a fun process. Though a great addition would be weapon variants for the MCC as there are tons of different weapon variants that are in Halo 5. A lot of them are really fun. Super Fiesta actually is probably the most popular game mode in Halo 5 overall because of all the crazy weapon variants which they would be a really fun addition to bring into the MCC in some way but it would only be in Halo 5. But like we mentioned earlier we have 123 loadout weapons that's the different variants right there and also 96 power weapons on top of that. So if you wanted to put that in some kind of unlock system you'd have to combine a lot of things in some awkward ways and it just would only be for Halo 5 and it, honestly they wouldn't really be that great of an experience. Another thing would be Warzone of how do you actually make Warzone work without having like rec cards in a way or expendable packs and things like that within Warzone. Maybe just remove it so it's all unlimited but then again that kind of removes the want and need for using utilizing other items within the sandbox of Halo 5. Everyone would just be using the meta weapons and there would be no consequences for just keep calling the same thing over and over again and so Warzone in the MCC for Halo 5 would play completely different than Halo 5's original Warzone mode. Another big issue, which I think is probably the biggest issue when it comes to bringing Halo 5 to the MCC, is file size. If you guys haven't noticed right now, I look on Steam, MCC is 131 gigabytes on my computer. So that's a rather large game, not as huge as say Call of Duty or Red Dead Redemption 2, which are pushing over 200 gigabytes. But from what I've seen online, Halo 5 is currently 97 gigabytes. So to put all of the content within Halo 5 into the MCC would be a huge addition. That would be a 74% increase on file size for just one game. Now there might be some ways you could possibly lower the amount of gigabytes possibly with Halo 5 but there's just so much content as we mentioned previously with all the different unlocks that you kind of need all those unlocks to get that same Halo 5 feel so you're getting pretty close to almost doubling the size of one game to add 
Halo 5 alone. And I'm sure a lot of people would not appreciate to have to download a game that's almost 230 gigabytes with Halo 5 and MCC put together. Another thing else to take in consideration are resources and development time. Bringing Halo 5 over to PC would be a monumental task. Yes, I know that there is already the custom games version of Halo 5 on PC, but a lot of people have played it and they say it's kind of janky and not really the best experience. Obviously, the groundwork's kind of there, and I'm sure 343 could clean things up, which they certainly have done with the rest of the MCC. Though, remember, it took them nearly a year to bring one game onto the MCC for PC, and that was Halo Reach, and that game's not nearly the size of Halo 5. And talking about resources, it would completely distract from what 343 is currently working on right now, which is adding more content for seasons, and also just doing general game updates, but the main thing that they're working on in the background is focusing on bringing mod support to the Master Chief Collection. As that feature alone will be the lifeblood of keeping the MCC alive. People nowadays are still making content for Halo Custom Edition, like Cursed Halo. I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos about that. They're making mods on a game that's been out for, what, 15-ish years or something like that? And with all the content that's within the MCC alone, bringing mod support for the MCC would be absolutely massive. And even if Halo 5 miraculously was able to come to the MCC, it still wouldn't even be the most popular game played. It's going to be Halo 3, without a doubt, still going to be the most popular game on the MCC. This graph showcases the division of player time within the MCC. Now, this isn't the most accurate graph, but it's relatively accurate as we grabbed it from SpartanFinder.com. And this graph showcases a general trends of how people play the MCC. And you see Halo 3 with a whopping 37%, and then next place would be Halo Reach with 19, almost 20%. Now, would Halo 5 be up there? Yeah, I think they'd probably get more popularity than like Combat Evolved or H2A or, H or Halo 3 ODST or, or even Halo 4. It might be like the third most popular game, but even then, the third most popular game to add into a game which would take so much time, so much effort, and so much development time and resources to completely distract from what they're currently working on right now, like the custom game browser and bringing in mod support for the MCC. And you also have to think about the time frame as well, with Halo Infinite going to be releasing in November of 2021, it's highly unlikely anybody, or at least majority, I would say 90% of people are going to be hopping off of MCC and playing Halo Infinite when that game releases. Now, will there still be people wanting to play Halo 5? Absolutely. But 343 has their sights and most of their resources set on developing Halo Infinite to make sure that when that game releases, it's going to be what it needs to be. And honestly, the last nail in the coffin here is what Unishek said when Halo 4 was launched onto the MTC for PZ. He said, this is the last Halo title we currently have planned for the collection. Sorry to crush your Halo 5 MCC dreams. So let's finish strong. And yes, he did not completely rule it out, but it's highly, highly, highly unlikely that we do ever see Halo 5 come to the MCC. Now, of course, I would love to see Halo 5 on PC. I'd love to be able to play that game on PC, especially the campaign would look a whole heck of a lot better for sure, as Halo 5 was already pushing the hardware of the Xbox One to its limits. But ultimately, these are the reasons why we will never see Halo 5 come to the MCC. So if you guys have missed any content from me recently or been on the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right now. I've got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.